This video is an exploration of the topic, using a graphing calculator to solve a system of linear equations basic. The goal of this topic is to use the provided Alex graphing calculator to solve the given system of equations. Let's begin with an example. Use the Alex graphing calculator to solve the system of equations. The first step towards solving this problem is to open the Alex graphing calculator. Note that the calculator will always be available when necessary. Okay, I'm a little confused about how to work the calculator. No problem, let's work through it. Once you click on the Alex graphing calculator icon, a screen should pop up that looks like this. Next, navigate to the y equals tab. Now we want to graph both equations in the problem y equals 4x minus 3 and y equals negative 5x minus 4. Where do you think we want to put these equations in order to plot them? Would I put them in the y1 and y2 windows? Yes, exactly. It does not matter which equation you place in which y window, just as long as they are both correctly entered into your calculator. From here, navigate over to the graph tab to see the two equations graphed on the coordinate plane. Let's see the results of this. Given that we need to find the solution of the system of linear equations, what do you think the next step would be? I believe we need to find the point at which the two lines intersect. Correct. A solution of a system of linear equations is the point at which the two lines intersect. This is because the x and y values at the point of intersection are the only values that make both equations true. Let's learn how to find this exact point on the Alex calculator. The next step is to click Intersect, which brings you to a screen that looks like this. Ensure that the first curve selected is y1 and the second curve selected is y2. Then, make a close estimate of the x value at the point of intersection. Lastly, click on the Find Intersection to let the calculator know you are ready to see the x value and the y value at the point of the intersection. So, given this intersection point, what is the last step? Well, looking at the instructions, it says we need to round our results to the nearest hundredth. So would our final answer be negative 0 0.11, negative 3.44? You're exactly right. It seems like you are now ready to use the Alex graphing calculator to solve a system of linear equations.